So Millie, I saw a social media post from you recently. It's not just the collar returning. What did you mean by that? <laughs> it's not Steve-O, it's Millie T returning. <laughs> yeah, I'm so happy. Obviously, it's been a really, really tough journey for me personally. And um, just to be able to get my boots back on, get back on the pitch is just an unbelievable feeling. I'm just so happy at the moment. I bet. Let's get straight into it then. So it's called a carotid artery dissection is what you've had. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so basically what that means is, is it's a, a tear in your artery from, it's one of the main arteries from your heart to your brain. So obviously when I found that out, I, I knew it was very serious and um, I basically just had to stop all activity straight away. Um, so yeah, it was a very scary time, but obviously looking back on it now, I can look back and think I've done everything right, obviously from the help from the the physios and medical staff they've been absolutely unbelievable and I couldn't thank them enough for everything that they've helped me through and um, yeah we're just so lucky that we caught it early. Yeah because the club did catch it early didn't they and you've had loads of support medically from from the club and how has that whole experience been because as you said you just had to rest haven't you nothing else? Yeah well it's been so tough all I want to do is play football I just want to get out there with the girls and just help them perform and help them win but um, so for me to be on the sidelines for something when it's so strange because I felt fine in myself but it's not like a normal injury. Injury, it's like I don't know. It's just so difficult, like to even explain. It's something that it's obviously where your health comes first. So um, yeah, it was really difficult period for me. It was six months in total now that I had to rest. And if anyone knows me, they know that I don't like resting. Um, I think it gives some of the physios a few headaches during that time. But I'm just so happy now that that that's in the past and that I can move on and hopefully have a good season under my belt. So what were the symptoms then? Because I know you're talking today so you can raise awareness of this condition. So how did you know that you had it? Yeah, so for me, I think it's really important that I can try and do anything that I can to raise awareness around this sort of injury because it's so rare and it's so uncommon, but people probably do experience it and don't even realise we're experiencing it. So for me, my main symptoms, it started with the, um, I could hear a heartbeat in my ear and I thought, what's that? Like it was just getting on my nerves. So I mentioned it to my to the doctor and um, he said right let's keep an eye on it we'll make sure that we keep checking it and if it gets any worse let me know and I always think that thinking back to it now it was so lucky because our game against West Ham got called off so we had an in-house game and um, during that game my symptoms start to get a lot worse my I'm like my speech was slowing a little bit and um, the heartbeat in my ear was getting a lot worse and then um, yeah I just couldn't really focus and I thought right, something's not right here. So I told the doctor straight away, he booked me in for a load of other tests. And um, yeah, literally the next day after that, I found out that I had this, this injury. So Millie, this is a condition that people might not even know that they have. So what would your advice be if somebody maybe has the kind of symptoms that you had? So basically with the condition that we had, there's a very high chance that you can have a stroke. And it is kind of the early stages of what you would present if you were having about to have a stroke so um, it's obviously very serious and this is why I want to try and use this opportunity to try and raise as much, raise as much awareness as I can so if anyone feels any sort of symptoms just don't feel yourself if you recognize that a family member is presenting any of these symptoms I think it's so important to just try and get any help that you can and don't feel stupid about it because like I'm so grateful that I had this best support to be able to like catch it early and luckily I'm I'm back on the pitch and I can do like continue with my normal life. And it's tough isn't it from a, for, for a footballer that kind of injury because you didn't know when you would be returning how long it would take to heal and as you said now you feel fine you're back in pre-season training so it's been a very tricky time for you mentally I imagine to stay focused stay positive and be in and around the team. Yeah it's been so hard honestly so difficult and a lot of people know me being the, the positive one. I try to bring energy. I try to bring a bit of light into the training camp and things. But it was very, very difficult time. And I did struggle a lot through that period just because I was kind of left in the unknown. It was very difficult because I didn't have a time frame of when I knew I could be back. I didn't even know if I could be back. It was one of them injuries where nobody knows anything about it. So it was just, it was very, very difficult. But Looking back on it now, I think with the help that I had from the medical staff, I think that we dealt with it so well and perfectly, to be honest. And 
now I'm back in the best place. So we're back in pre-season, you're out on the grass. Tell us what exactly you're doing, like what kind of level are you at? So I'm not with the girls just yet. Um, it's going to be a bit of a slow build up, so it's going to take about four to six weeks. Um, but hopefully I'll get minutes at the end of that period. So I'm doing a lot of running, <laughs> a lot of running. If um, is getting used to this, letting us get used to this Australian heat. I'm not used to it yet. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of getting a base level of fitness and then building up from there. Because that's the main thing, just because you've missed the fitness work, isn't it? So you're getting yourself up to speed with the other girls. Yeah, exactly. And it's a risk of, you know, getting other injuries, which you don't want to, which you really want to avoid. So uh, we're definitely doing it the right way. And seeing you'll be back in competitive action with the girls and you're heading footballs, you're doing all the usual things that you would normally do as a centre-half. Yeah, definitely. And that's, in, that's only in a few weeks to come. So every single week it's getting more progressive and more, and more like exciting for me. So I'm just looking forward to it. So you must be delighted then. You're back in pre-season. You know you'll be featuring on the pitch again. What are your goals now long term for the, for the season ahead? I just need to use this season to get back to how I was playing and get back to me and be my happy self on the pitch and obviously I think I'll use this experience going forward to hopefully make my, my, myself and my performance stronger because not a lot of people go through what I've been through and hopefully I can use that for my advantage. Just finally then, you've stayed positive throughout it, you've always been in the environment, you've never been away from the environment, how have you done that, how have your friends and family, the players, the staff, how has everybody enabled you to be so positive still despite this condition that you suffered with? Honestly, I can't thank everyone enough to obviously go through what I've been through. I, I wouldn't have been able to do it without them. They've been so supportive, so helpful, so positive around me and and have included me in everything that they've done and that's just helped me so much. I did have a period of time where I was allowed to go on holiday for a few weeks which I really think that helped me mentally and um, just helped me heal to be honest. So the club and my friends and my family, everyone has just been unbelievable. And to reassure anyone who's watching, you've made a full recovery and how do you feel now? I feel absolutely great. Do you know what, Steve-o, I'll hang on to one word and I've always hanged on to it since he's told me. The main um, professor said to me that, Millie, you've made a remarkable recovery. So I'll always hang on to that word. I feel so happy that I can be back on the pitch, feeling fit, feeling healthy, and honestly, I feel great. Well, Mills, it's so great to have you back on the grass. Can't wait to see you pulling on that red shirt with the collar. I can't wait, Steve-o. Let's get going, shall we? <laughs>